here's something I want to show everyone real right quick um, before I button this back up. This is a John Deere Sabre with a Kohler CV25S. <clears throat> it needed a head gasket. Um, once I got that back together, you can see plenty of videos on how to do that. That wasn't the only problem, apparently. The This has... Some of these Kohlers had a smart spark or some kind of ignition advanced module. Mm, basically, that has to tie in with the two modules. Well, one of these I think is broken down and had a weak spark because um, it would run fine on one side. In fact, really well on the side that I fixed the head gasket on. But the other side was intermittent and it couldn't take heavy throttle. You had to ease the throttle up to get any advancement and for it to run on that side. So, um, isolate it to the one coil being bad and it was pretty obvious that, that was the problem because when I took this apart all around the edges all the open space was plugged with um, egg corns and just debris it was very bad <clears throat> this machine's been sitting for a few years obviously in fact the old air oil filter had 2006 on it and um, so very bad oil also but anyway so these, you can't just eliminate the module, like to get around, um, you, you can't just put, like these aren't grounds for your ignition kill, those do tie in with the smart spark, with this box. Locating one of these, I don't have one of these spare and they're a little harder to find, but here's what you can do. You can put regular ignition model, modules on from later V-twins that doesn't use the they don't use the smart spark so here's a donor engine this newer, I think it's around 2004 this was made CV25S um, this engine has two broken rods so perfect donor and it pretty much, nothing, it's not a big deal. Everything fits together, you know, the ignitions fit together. Uh, with It's the same mounting pattern for the modules. What you do have to do, here's, here's what you basically need to have on your engine that you're working on, that you're repairing. You gotta have just a lead like this that goes to your white, your ignition kill circuit. I didn't have to clip that one off because I made one for this other machine. So you're looking for your white wire <clears throat> coming from your wire loom into your engine and this was here. It was just dangling down there because on when the smart spark uses the ignition kill it goes right to the box. It doesn't go to the modules as I said before. So I just had a regular um, bullet connector on, I used the wrong color but no big deal, on this green wire with a, uh, a plug-in terminal on each side and just soldered, soldered, uh, they had to do that end, but basically, basically that's what you're making. There's no diodes like on Briggs, so in the Briggs twins you had a diode, um, they had concerns with the ignitions killing each other, like grounding each other out, but on these engines it, it it's not the issue, just making a kill circuit is all you're doing. So there you go. Standard ignition modules, replacing the smart spark and the harder to find ignition modules. And yes, it does work. <laughs>